So minority group, like, is this, do they work in any area? Well, any, like, they don't anything. even have to work. It can be an occupation. It could be some sort of, you know, some, like an interest group. Whatever. Interest group. So, like, say, um, shout out to the Taiwanese cosplayers in... Dude, you get so specific. The, I know, like, it's crazy. Yeah, South I'm like, e- South, in southeastern Milwaukee. No, shout no, out to Shout you out to the Lebanese um, actors and actresses that are trying to find their way in Hollywood. I'm sure you'll get there if you haven't gotten there already. Hey, that was a good one, yeah, dude. Thanks. I like well, thanks, that. Guys. I think Lebanon is, like, a cool place. I've never been there, but I would love to visit there. I was about to say, awesome. have you researched it? No, I just know their economy sucks. <laughs> Okay. So, I mean, hopefully they can get back on track. Yeah. Shout out to you. I hope you guys find some Shout work. out. I hope you guys find they had a big work. explosion there. Remember oh. two years ago? They like the whole... Yeah. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, yeah. So they're still... Yeah. Adam. But yeah, shout out to all the Lebanese out there. Specifically the actors and... Actresses, yes. What was it? North North Hollywood? Uh, just in, in Hollywood in general. Just in, uh, yeah. Uh, Western Studio City. Shout out to you guys pulling your weight down there. Um, yeah. I guess I will... Um, you feel left out now. You got to join. I do. I do feel left out. Shout out to, um, dang it, I had one that was like pretty specific too. Yeah, that's how I feel in my head, dude. Um, Welcome back to the Double Overhead Show, guys. Hey, another week, more Will. Yes, I'm back. I saw the comments. Everyone was like, we need to get this guy back on. Oh, my God. Hey, um... I'm yes. back too, guys. That's right. Let's oh not, my gosh. Let's yes. not forget. Edward, Edward is back. Um, oh, uh, it's, it's kind of <laughs> messed up. <laughs> Whatever. Nice. Um, but yeah. Welcome back to another week. Will, I really enjoyed you. Uh, Boss. On the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed you on the podcast last week. It was really Thank refreshing you. hearing someone other than my own voice. Yeah. I mean, sadly, still hear Adam talk. Um, I know. The whole yeah. time. And I had talked to, about I Red know. Robin and Woe Stevie. I was, but. yeah, I was listening and uh, I would just tune it mute. All the way yeah, down. <laughs> in my car. You actually made a separate like w- podcast for yourself where you took my audio tracks out and it was just <laughs> Will. And I would just respond. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I went, uh, I went full Star Wars episode <laughs> nine with it where it was basically oh just me gosh. acting with yeah. the late Carrie Fisher. Exactly. Yeah. No one's there. It's just auto. Just a tennis Damn. ball. <laughs> this is a dark image in my mind now. Of me acting just with late Carrie Fisher. Acting with Carrie Fisher's corpse. Just the whole yeah, I mean, Whoa. That's what Daisy Ridley did, yeah. I guess, yeah. Late Carrie Fisher. That's kind of, it? it's super trippy to think about. <clears throat> Isn't it weird that we say late? Like, yeah. when someone dies. I mean, it's pretty respectful. Yeah, because late. you don't die and you're always late, so I don't know what. Hey. <laughs> I guess, I yeah. don't die. Not yet. They would call don't me early. It. Early Eduardo if I was dead. <laughs> They call me early for different reasons. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, I was like, early for what, bro? Could be anything. We're off to some of a dark start. That's okay. Hey, guys. How you doing? We're going to yeah. give you some time to hit the like, the subscribe, every single button that is below if the you're video. On, uh, if you're on audio listeners, uh, we can, you guys needed to address them last uh, episode more. Yes. Um, if you guys are on audio... Uh, you guys are going to want to hit the five star rating. Yep, that five star rating for the podcast, please. We need that five star. Uh, we need you to leave a review if you can. Uh, follow. Make sure yep. you follow. Yep. Let, hit the little the follow square, the square with the little arrow. Share it. You know. Yeah, share it with everybody. Show, put us on your story. Exactly. At the show. At the show. Shout us out. We'll repost. Shout out. Shout yeah, out. We love shout our shout out outs here. Audience. Shout we, out. Audience. We love our audience. Thank you so much. Gotta guys. love them. Yeah. I'm just going to let that roll for it. I like that. Yeah. Oh, we're letting it roll. <laughs> letting it roll. I loved that ep- that um in the, the episode sound? last week. Shout out to you for loving it. Hey. Yeah, Bring it back. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah, give them that what is that? 3 3 seconds. Three we'll seconds. give them that 3 seconds of dead air. That was that a was, lot of dead air. That was a lot of dead air, we'll say. Hey. You're not late. It's okay. You're not dead. You're early, bro. Hey, you're early. I am. Yeah. Really, Willie. I am really, yes. Yes. William. <laughs> Has anyone ever just called you Squilliam before? Dude, I get called that every single day. Yeah. People on my on my job call me that. Has anyone, anyone has kind of, anyone yep. genuinely thought that was your name? No, no. Because I always make sure and let them know my name is Clarify. Clarify. You know, one of my little cousins actually genuinely thought that my name was Squidward. <laughs> Squidward? <laughs> yeah. 
Like she was like real really? little. She was like real little, Squidward, and she Squidward, genuinely Squidward. thought my name was Squid Squidward. Cousin Squidward. Yeah, like I was just cousin Squidward. Cousin Squidwardo. Did you? Did she love Sponge? Was it a boy? Or, uh, it was a girl. Did she love SpongeBob? And she, was, that she wasn't allowed to watch SpongeBob. So she thought you were. I just guess she, Edward. Just thought, she thought yeah. you were the Squidward. Squidward. Yeah. I was just the Squidward you'd always. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> And I'm just walking around the family function with a brown shirt and nothing else. Yeah, no pants on. <laughs> no pants, no underwear. With a clarinet. Yeah. But yes, people call me Squilliam every day. That's a quick joke. You ever get called Bill or Billy? No. Um, but I will once I'm a billionaire. Yeah. Wow. Walk around and call you Billy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I guess that makes more sense. A billionaire. But uh, anyways... We got a good episode for okay. you guys. Yeah, I, I like another, it. Another I like banger of an up. episode, I think. We got some good <laughs> stuff was, lined up. <laughs> that was so nonchalant of a sales pitch. Yeah, I mean, we got a good episode, I guess. Uh, <laughs> they're watching, so they're here. You know, I I totally forgot I broke. Or they're listening that on first. audio. Remember, you got to address the audio listeners. Yes. Yeah. Hey, audio listeners. Uh, I know you're not watching. We are in your head right now. I'm in your, yeah, I'm in your I'm walls. I'm in your car. I'm, I'm in, in your, your stereo. I'm in your car. <laughs> <laughs> You're driving to work, and I'm in your car right now. If you open up that tr- the the trunk, not the trunk, the the hood. The glove bo- oh, open the up hood. the hood of your uh, the hood of your car. I'm in I'm there. In, I'm in there, I'm in yeah, there I with in my your... mic right now. Yeah, this is the voice in your head telling you. Currently, yes. If you're listening on headphones, we'll address every type of audio listener. Headphones. Ah, <laughs> just clip them real quick. <laughs> Shout I'm out to you if you have your AirPods Max in right now. Yeah. Specifically the AirPods Max in. It's just uh, noise canceled. Speaking of specific shout outs, I want to address Whoa. this first uh, this first little point here. Okay. Somebody, I was wondering somebody about re- that. Yeah, somebody read that for me. Hey, guys, let's shout out a mon- <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> let's shout a minority working group out. I'd like to, I, I'm going to lay down the rules for this one a bit. So you I'm gonna rules, baby. yeah. So I'd like to address the um, the uh, people of color working in the yes. uh, public transportation field in mm. the uh, South Bay region of Los Angeles. Shout South out to Bay, you guys. That is very specific. Yeah, no, it, it has to be. <laughs> yeah, no, I was it, not it has expecting to be, that. It has to be very specific. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you that well, was we my, were all doing one. Yeah, we're all doing. <laughs> hey, one. Hey, what's so. yours? <laughs> 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 We just claiming my Sorry, this groups. isn't funny. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. Think of something like hmm. you don't think about. You know the the bus driver who is a person of color in Redondo Beach. True. Yeah. Well, you know, in like twenty five years, white people are going to be a minority in America. Yeah. So, but in twenty five years, so. you can do the pot. You could do the podcast shout out. Yeah. So Ex- you future could, me yeah. shout out to the whites. Whoa. <laughs> Just cut all that, of them. Cut that. Cut that. Yeah, all of them. Um, Not funny. <laughs> yeah thanks i didn't mean to no you're that. you're your minority group is so specific i have to think about yeah a very i know specific exactly one. like so you could do like the the asians and pacific islanders and mm. the um in southern mississippi working in the <laughs> in sawmills mississippi yeah uh, yeah exactly do they still have sawmills oh I'm yeah sure sawmill oh exists, yeah especially somewhere in like mississippi shout to shout to people working in sawmills man shout out Ah, dang it! No, that, that wasn't mine. Literally, I one. Oh, was, not I, yours? I want to hear. There was no minority group. I have to oh. think. I have to think. I want you to go because I want. It could be something. anywhere too. This is tough. So technically, like if if you're doing like Africa or something, you could say like a white, like Elon white people. Musk, well, not yeah. South, I think South Africa is my it, majority white. Majority, yeah, but yeah. like the rest of Africa. I yeah, yeah. Gosh. Shout out to um. Shout out to the Asians and Pacific Islanders in Little Rock, Arkansas, working in. Any job over there? Because I'm, I'd be surprised if there's any Asians or Pacific okay. Islanders. Honestly, yeah. yeah, honestly, dang guys, especially the ones in the postal service. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Wow, I like that. The postal service. Yeah. Um. Man, you guys, put me on the spot. I wasn't. I I read that today too, and I was like, it, it, I don't it's kind of like it, that. it's kind of like Mad Libs. Kind of, yeah. So just just start filling in the blanks, and um, it kind of gets easier. I guess to go along the postal service. Shout out to any Latinx. Amazon workers. Okay. And just Amazon workers in general because you guys don't get enough credit because Mr. Jeffy Kisses doesn't doesn't give you guys enough. Jeff, so Jeff Specific- Kisses? Yeah. Jeff Bezos. I understand who Bezos, but like why kisses? Is that just Bezos in Spanish is kisses? Ah. ah. See, I always use besito just because mm. I learned that the ito and ita is like cuter, you know? Okay. It is cuter, yeah. So All right. 
So it kind of threw me off. But now I'm Sorry. back on track. Jeffy yep. Kisses, yeah. No, so I was a page behind, but now I'm on the same page. Okay. Same chapter. So yeah, shout out to them. Thank you, guys. I'm reading ahead. <laughs> He's reading <laughs> ahead. You you're, you're at a, a whatever reading level. Yeah. I'm well, at a where, third grade. Where are, are the, grade. where are the Latinx Amazon workers that you're shouting out? Oh. Um, you have to specify a region. Wow, we really are getting specific here. Uh, Tuskegee. Okay. I'm trying to think okay. of <laughs> like an actual specific where an Amazon warehouse is. Let's just say like I don't know where Amazon warehouses is. I think I they guys, have a main one. Bad. Is it Minnesota? We're gonna say Lincoln, Nebraska. One. I think that's I think, a good I one. Feel actually, like that's a good one. Lincoln, Nebraska. I've been there. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, that's, What's that like? Cornfields, riding did you, dirt bikes. Did you know, right? Like the city, city. So yeah, no, we. Um, it was a road trip a few years back. Um, funny enough, it was Boaz. His fan, his, it's like friends. Shout uh, out to Boaz. Hi, Boaz. It was a friend's family that lives out there that they know very well. So they know everyone well, huh? Yeah. Um, they know them well. They know you right now because they're they're in your head. Technically, yeah. Rent the memories. Free. Rent free. Um, <laughs> rent, <laughs> rent free. <laughs> no, they've been paying for space up here for years. Yeah. Um, Just send you a check. Yep. But yeah, it was a quick road trip, and oh, dang it, I can't remember the first place in Nebraska we stopped. It was like right outside Lincoln. Huge home, awesome. Amazon warehouse. It's, yeah, it was Jeffy <laughs> Kiss's warehouse so, outside. Is it like right when you entered Lincoln, you just heard like Matthew McConaughey all over the radio uh, in your head? Yeah, that's just everybody there. No, it's a pretty nice city. It's hot. I knew Bruno Mars was performing there, so it's big enough. He was performing there? Yeah. He was, that was part of his like tour circuit. How like, long ago was Lincoln. this? Five years ago. Really? Yeah. Wow, that was a long time. Yeah, five years ago. I, I always think about that. I'm like, what is a city like? in like somewhere just like that midwest yeah like just that whole tornado uh, alley i watched a tiktok and it was about um how someone was like just going to cities just to see what's up and he went to um like indianapolis he's like dude i got on the next flight no I, way it, it sucked there's nothing there nothing huh? to do yeah it, it's i guess it's so like not, it's a city but who wants to live yeah in, i guess you don't play football or basketball there's nothing else for you yeah do. no exactly. the indy 500 yeah yeah okay. but it. no one yeah. no one is gonna live in the city. And That's a like, one day thing. It's though. True. It's that a, is yeah, a one it's, day. It's also thing. a one day quick event. trip. Yeah. Mm. We're so we're just so spoiled by having everything. Oh, we really are. If you really think about yeah. it, we have the like the people say like the California experience or the California challenge where you go to the beach, try to hit the mountains, and then the desert all in one day because yeah. you can. Let's check our privilege, guys. Leave it at the door. I don't. Uh, my California privilege. I mean, <laughs> the buck stops here. <laughs> 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 I. I I make sure it's at an all-time high when I walk in the door. Oh, yeah. 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 By the way, I live in California. Yeah. No, I'm from SoCal. Yeah. Like, the worst part of California. What's, no, what's so the what's the, what's the worst state to be from, you think? Alaska. <laughs> Alabama. Why Alaska? No, Alaska's awesome. Well, it, it's awesome to say that for, like, just just as a part. It's more of a party trick to say you're from Alaska. I guess. You know, wait, wait, wait. Shout out Alaska. Shout, yeah. shout out to yeah, Alaska. We have to shout out to Alaska. Okay. Shout out to um, Palin. I mean... You you don't you don't have like a set sleep schedule, you know. Yeah, that does suck. You're you're completely isolated. But I mean, you don't get proper representation on the map. No, people. Dude, it, it looks like an island. It does, but it's big. It's huge. It is huge. But it's empty. It's so much bigger than people think it is. Yeah, it's a tundra. I feel like if the Russia was going to attack the U.S., they'd start in Alaska. But you it used to be. Do you know how close it is to Russia? Have you seen it? Well, I know that the land bridge no, way, back in, the way touching, back in the day. It's th- terrifying. They're touching tips. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Because when you know when we look at maps, it's always flat. It's very rarely like unless you're looking you, at a globe. Whoa, 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 are you saying the Earth is flat? Yeah. yeah. Right now on the double over it show, I surf waves on a flat Earth. Um. Okay. You know. Yeah. Thank you know you, the sir. waves are just made from meteors hitting the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go full alpha male podcast. Look here. at this. One. Maybe we'll yeah. we'll throw up the the bearing straight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what but that, I mean. That's look, what that dude. thing is called. Yeah. Literally, we'll, I think that's we'll, how people got to North anything. America, right? It was there's a land there bridge was, way I back think in the a day. Land bridge, yeah, like way back like before, like Mesopotamia. our water levels and stuff. Pangaea. So, well, you said Alabama. I think Alabama is Mississippi's older brother. So I think Mississippi would be worse off than Alabama. Mm, why why you say Alabama? Why you say Alabama? I think Arkansas I just feel like there's the a lot of racism down there. Dog, there's racism everywhere. I'm not saying, I'm not contesting that there is, but I feel like there's a lot of concentrated. It never left there, dude. I, I don't think it's left anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Go with Will you said here. Arkansas? But, 
I mean, yeah, Arkansas. Bill Clinton's from Arkansas. It's been voted no one way. of way. Yeah, didn't know that. It's the poorest state, and it's been voted like the worst place to live. Really? Yeah. Have you seen? It's there's the like, poorest state. I think so. Um, Arkansas. Can we fact check that? That is Arkansas the the wor- the poorest state. By the way, yeah. Let's give a quick shout out to Coral. We Coral didn't address her last boards. time. She ran the boards on our San Diego special. She deserves all the shout outs in the world for doing that. So My thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Um. Yeah, I've I've seen uh I've been seeing those like drive through videos. This is, I'm I stand I'm I'm correct, guys. Okay. Poverty rates were highest in the states of Mississippi, Louisiana, New Mexico, West Virginia, Kentucky, New Mexico, and Arkansas. Yeah, so it's one New of the Mexico. It's four. Walter White okay. was poor. I mean, this was what's number one? Mississippi. Mississippi was the highest at nineteen point really? five percent. Yeah, so that's um I mean, this is Wikipedia, so I don't know how. You know, anyone can just add anything on this. I was gonna say, yeah. Anyone how can credible just, is that? They got this. Da- they got the data from the well, U.S. Oh yeah. Census Bureau. He's right. Then that's correct. Take yeah. it from 2016 ding, to ding, 2020. Ding, 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 ding. Will is correct. So I mean, poverty is the highest. Does that mean it's the poorest? I don't know because that's a good question. What's that, the, there's the distinction between poor and well, poverty. I mean, we're about to go into a very I was about to say we, conversation. <laughs> I, we just jumped right into like every male podcast. Like, this what is, even is being poor? And then they say the most controversial thing ever. I was just about to say this is the most male podcast we've ever yeah. done. This yeah, is the I mean, most the, the, yeah, yeah, just the way we started. The addition everything. of Will has just made this such an alpha Mail. podcast. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna start. I need to. But yeah, like this, Mississippi sorry. also has the highest child poverty rate. Really? Yeah. Really? So, I'm what's the definition of child poverty like? I think just um, I think it's certain income level or just not getting enough food. Let me look. Interesting. Okay. Thank you for fact checking. Lack of access to basic needs such as food, clothing, and shelter. Wow. I would have put iPads on there, but yeah, you know, just me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming there's not an Amazon place in Mississippi. Yeah. No. I'm I'm gonna give that a hard no. Yeah. A hard no. Yeah. Not yeah. A soft no. Spiked like, no. Like a rhino pill. Yeah, no. hard no. Like for sure. Pounding headache. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ever take one of those? Rhino pill? Yeah. No, I probably will. I'm 70. Okay. Wow. I mean, I remember back in high school, I heard this story about the kid we all know, but um, he took a okay. Viagra back in eighth grade and he had boner for like three days in a row. <laughs> That's so I don't think. I think, you talking I, about. I think right now I don't need to take one. <laughs> That's such a funny reaction for your body. But to um, just be like three days. <laughs> shout, shout out to a uh, shout to Roman. Oh, like the the company. Yeah. The d- oh. Okay. I was like, man, I was poor like, guy. Yeah. Whoa. Sorry. No, the Roman Emperor. Uh, yeah. Caesar. There's also been, there's been so many. There's been Romul- tons. Romulus. Constant. Oh, Rom- speaking of Romulus, <laughs> Romulus from Star Trek. I was thinking Romulus from uh, Succession. Okay, because oh, Romulus and that huh? Roman. Oh. His, the hmm. the the dad Logan he calls him Romulus, like I guess his name is Romulus. Well, in Star Trek, there's a race called the Rom- the, the Romulans. So oh, really, um, yeah. Huh. Anyway, now I'm thinking we about succession. Gone, we have gone so far. You know, I killed. Uh, I'd like to address where I've been actually. What a what a guy. Yeah, he I binged. got I got real sick. Yeah, like real sick. I um, it was a fail. I uh, I contracted something from the ocean, or I don't know what's going on, but um, I just woke up the day after surfing, and might I add, it was probably one of the better sessions of my entire life. That was, wow, that was <laughs> apparent. Um, I woke up, and I was just like, I'm fine. You know, a couple hours later, I'm like, I, I think I had like a little too much, too much, uh, too much mustard water. in my sandwich Salt or water. something. No, I, I felt like, you know, when you eat a lot of mustard, you, you just feel like, like mustard breath and I, to be honest, I do not like mustard. I was about to say the same thing. I forgot you guys are white. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was very. I'm not we are white. <laughs> what my wheeze? That? Yeah. yeah, the wheeze. Thanks. Wheeze, uh, yeah. I am fifty. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and I just was like, damn, I just like had too much mustard. It's like inflammatory. I'm like I'm inflamed right now. Inflammatory. Uh, later on, I'm like, dude, this is like messing with my sinuses couple hours pass i'm like my headache is pounding right now and then i'm like <laughs> i feel really hot and then i checked and i had like a crazy fever yeah bro uh, go down. came down to it i had a pretty bad sinus infection that i got from like the band the bacteria in the ocean interesting and i was down bad dude like i was down like like miserable bad, like huh? miserable just laying <laughs> there weak. yeah yeah so it wasn't fun 
So luckily, Will stepped in for me. Yes. Yeah. Shout, shout out, out to we Will. Both, we shout both to get me. up Thank to you. shout. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Anytime. Anytime. Banger of an episode last week. Just it had was. to have him back on. Yeah. If you haven't checked it out yet, go back check it out. Pause right now. I was about to say, check watch it out. that one. Because this is context. like a teaser. Because now you know who I am. You're gonna miss out on jokes here. I think if you're going through our channel and you're watching this video, there's like a little backtracking button, and you could just play the last episode. I think you can do that. Yeah. 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 And then while you while you look at that, um, YouTube has added a pretty cool animation if you like the video. So I don't know. But you should check do it out. they have? Yeah. yeah. Please yeah. You should, like, you should subscribe look, right it now. Out. They, you they, they have an even cooler one if you subscribe, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. I exactly. just remembered there's a really cool animation. I just animation. found out about that one today. If so you sub, it. Yeah. If you sub, there's like a super cool animation. Yeah. And then yeah. the bell, there's like a bell that like really yeah. rings in yours for like five seconds if you ding, 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 yeah. ding, ding, stops, ding, the, ding. stops the video. It's like yeah. a train yeah. bell, yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys should try train it out. If you, don't, if you don't believe us, you should try it out. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Do it. Anyways. Um. Well, speaking of awesome new features and like cool features, new fe- yeah, no. let's, uh, let's dive into the iOS 16, you know? Let's, let's yeah, transition. Let's okay. get the, yeah. If you ever want to, you could fade it out. Nice. I'm still learning. I just want to let you know, you know? Like, Kind of nice. cool. That was nice. Wait, you know, oh, I don't think still going. I don't think it comes up on our end though. What do you mean? Like it's not gonna. It it's gonna be the same level on the. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Because it's just so we can hear it. Yeah. Just kidding. All right. All right. Let's take a second to thank our sponsors, All Pro Builders Inc. All Pro Builders was built on honesty and integrity and founded in 1989. If you need a kitchen remodel, a bathroom remodel, or just any old remodel, All Pro is there for you. Go to All Pro. Go to allprobuildersinc.com and check out a gallery of photos there where you can see how credible their work is. Or give them a call at 714-255-0131. That's 714-255-0131 and get an estimate today. And you won't regret it because at All Pro Builders, you dream it. We, we build, build it. 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 <laughs> Woo! All right, Never guys. mind. Never mind. Anyways, but speaking of exciting <clears throat> new features, Apple recently announced at the WWDC... Uh, uh, iOS nice. 16. It, it looks, looks awesome. awesome. It looks awesome. Have you? Did you watch the presentation? Well, I didn't watch the presentation, but I watched the video that covered the highlights. Basically, like the big main things you need to know from it. And yeah, I mean, they have a new they have a new MacBook Air come now. They have a new Pro as well, right? Yeah, but I think the um, I think the Air is the better deal. Yeah, but I mean, it starts at a hundred dollars less than the Pro, so it just depends what you want. Yeah, but they're new they complete, all that. They completely overhauled the the design. For the MacBook Air. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, it's got like the FN keys. The function keys are back. It's got um, two USB-C ports as well as the MagSafe port. It uh, It's pretty stacked up. Yeah. It's got fast charging now. The laptops have fast charging. That's pretty cool. But the uh, iOS 16 was the big thing, right? To come out of that? Yeah. So can you pull up uh, iOS 16 and then like the messaging? Yeah, bro. About the messages? We... um. I Did you hear about those? I hear about air, that. I hear about that. Yeah, I wanted to. It. I wanted to kind of jump into that. I more. think it's. I think Apple's trying to ruin people's lives. Yeah, you think? Oh my God, bro! Why I saw. That? I saw someone that <clears throat> talked about it from like a professional perspective, and it yeah. made sense. Cause yes. If you call like the example I saw was this guy. She was texting this guy named Gabe. But she, it, oh, corrected to Gabe. Gabe. Shout out. So, yes. Shout out to Gabe. So it makes sense, and the so the autocorrect only lasts for fifteen minutes. Yes. After you yeah. send a message. Well, yeah, to preface the feature is you send a text, right? Oops, I messed it up. You have 15 minutes I mean, to edit that text. Apple, you can edit or just take it back. And yeah, or you entirely. can unsend it completely. Really? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, Apple knows this is going to have unintended consequences. Toxic. I think I think this is the last one to... This is the last sort of um, base that you can do that. Yeah. Because like, a lot of the other, like Instagram, Snapchat, you can... Edit your messages or you can unsend them. them. Well, not on Twitter. It, on Instagram, though, it lets you know. Like, like it'll if be Twitter like, DMs. Yeah, they just deleted this message. I think, I think it'll let them know if you edited the message on what iMessage. Oh, yeah, it really? Says, yeah, it says you. Oh, it says oh, it. Say I saw. Well, I saw an example where the unsent message and it says you sent and then you unsent a message. Oh, Interesting. Okay. So it knows. That's kind of like when Snapchat, where you screen, you would take a screenshot. Yeah, you took a and screenshot. It's like you, so obviously there's gonna be stuff there. People will find ways around that. Um, yeah, I I mean I think all technology when it's innovative has I just, unintended I, consequences. I just can't wait to send a bomb of a text. 
just <laughs> exactly <let laughs> like, and then take it back immediately yeah, just like stuff i'd never ever think of even saying to my parents and just text it <laughs> <laughs> to immediately you know yeah, what undo it you know what i just thought of that's a good like party dare Oh, oh! Like if you're playing one of those card games, and they're like, "You have to like text yeah. your ex or something." Yeah, but I then think now I think card games, it. card games should implement this. Uh, I don't card know. games contact us. Yeah, contact sure us. Will. We'll we'll let you guys have that. Like you can get a card that says like you have to text your ex something like crazy, and like if and the you fi- can't undo it, and you can't undo it until like the fi- if they don't reply in the 15 minutes, you can untake then it. Then you can do it. Yeah. That's kind of cool. That's, that's a good cool. one. That's heavy. It's dangerous. That is dangerous. Double that's over head show drinking game cards coming out soon. <laughs> oh, we're, we're going <laughs> to talk about that. I thought, we're yeah. gonna, I thought we were going to tell them that. But oh, just keep yeah. on down though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Bad. I didn't say that. Oh, I just undid Alfred. that actually. You guys didn't hear about that. So, <laughs> no, actually, we should do that. Just do one card. And that's it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's the whole deck is that, that card, card and a Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Text your ex something insane right now, and it has to be like super out of pocket. Life ending, yeah, yeah like life threatening and out like of pocket. Ruin your career, yeah. And then if they don't respond in fifteen, you get to just take it back. My phone's bugging out, but the the new lock screen stuff looks cool too. I'm very much excited for the new lock screen. It's stuff. It's a lot more customizable than it it currently is. You know what's funny is uh, I immediately was like when I saw that you could just have multiple lock screens. Yeah. I just like breathed a sigh of relief. Really? Why? Yeah. I mean, I always, um, I always get these moments where I'm like, man, like I love, you know, I'll have like a wonderful picture of me and my girlfriend yeah. as the lock screen, and then like sometimes I'll be like, oh, I need, I need to update this picture, or I wish like it would be a different yeah. one throughout the day, or oh. like I like the default, the, the default wallpaper sometimes. Yeah, like the clean ones, and just like having a nice cycle because you can time these. You can time. No way. Yeah, you can time the. The wallpapers. It's to like change. a laptop now. Put widgets That's on awesome. there. It's That's it's pretty cool. it's more of like um, it's kind of like your Apple Watch. Oh if, yeah, you can change where those, you can yeah. change them and customize that. the widgets and like depending on the time of the day, you'll get a different face and. I like that. It's really nice. That is I'm really nice. I'm excited for it. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I don't have an Apple Watch. Hey man, but they're cool. Maybe I'll get one now. Yeah. Yeah. Shout Just to, so you can shout out to Apple for Apple watches. So you can slap so your you wrist after yeah. you look at I used time. to do that all the time. Nice. Shout out Megan Kim if you're listening. She used to do that. I used to do it better. Just saying. Better. Just saying. <laughs> do it right now for everybody. You want to hold, hold that? Yeah, I got you. Nice. <laughs> yeah. I do I do remember um when the features on Apple Watch is like if you get water in it, there's like an app that you can like push yeah, the water goes, out. Boop, boop, I thought that was boop, the coolest boop. thing ever. I do it that. It kind of sucks. Surf. It's okay. It depends on how much water there is, but yeah. I've gone in the I've gone in the ocean and then I like forget to set a surfing mm. workout so I forget to lock it yeah. from water. I've done that. Just Scary. flood the whole yeah, just CPU. I <laughs> flood the entire thing. Yeah. No, this thing's a tank. This thing's lasting it is. everything. Yeah. It's a great watch. Yeah. But um so the iOS 16 just the new screensaver and then the unsend message or anything else on that that was that stood out i was trying to look it up but my phone was bugging out i'm trying so. to think i don't know if i can look at the <clears throat> here we'll, we'll we'll bring it up over here just trying to pull up like the verge but you know yeah that's usually my go-to for like quick the the recap of everything but i guess here, yeah, apple we, has well, a i don't know why, why we don't just go to the website but. uh lock screen i think those are just the main advertise so what is that uh um, filter so kind fil- of more of the focusing stuff i don't really use the mail app do you guys use the mail app? i yeah, check I my it, email I constantly yeah. i use gmail for my no oh, okay. i have that on my ipad but i check mail on my phone i think yeah the messages and the, the photos or i mean the photos the uh, oh you can undo a, a email too oh that's right i saw that so they're trying to do something um with passwords or what, they're trying to get more? rid of the to try and make it like so you don't have like so many passwords and all that. They're trying to do something where it like recognizes you by biologically. Well, it, a lot of yeah. it's going to incorporate Face ID or Touch ID. Yeah. Like say you're on a Mac and they has it has Touch ID. It, that your password won't be something you come up with for that website. It'll oh. be you just putting in your Touch ID. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Like you can do that for a lot of um for a lot of apps if you're on your phone. Yeah. You can just have your face your ID face. as your someone has to have your face yeah. or they know the physical Which ID. I will say isn't the greatest thing sometimes because if like say I'm using Chegg or something, y- yeah. Then I'm screwed on another I device, know. yeah. But um uh, Apple Pay Later. What do you guys think about that one? What can you explain it? I didn't hear about that one. So, uh 
you could split, according to this, you could split the cost of your Apple Pay purchase into four payments over six weeks. I don't, I think you have to apply for credit or have, I don't uh, know. Like I don't their, know. You the have specifics. to have their credit card or something. I wonder if they have interest on each. There's payment. no interest. No interest. No interest. Wow. Yeah. Um, but they're really fencing you into that. Cool. But there's already programs that do that. Like we're, we're using one called Clarina for the, you know, paying off our roadcaster. Yeah, yeah, and of I've course. used, there's different ones called like quad pay. Oh, that I want to talk it. about this yes, one. Yeah. That one is very cool. Well, yeah. But the, the pay later, I think they're just trying to get in the game. Yeah, they're they're skinning the game now, but they're a little bit interest late. free. That's just that's for all the broke people out there that get paid. Like, oh, I get paid in a week, or I get paid today. I can, f- you know, it's just for yeah. them. Those it people. is kind of nice though. Yeah, yeah. I think it's also like it's a psychological thing. I think there's just something eat more sw- digestible about. Let's say you have to pay something that's one hundred sixty dollars instead of paying one sixty at once, paying forty four times. No, one hundred percent. I would take that any day. Yeah, some more digestible. Forty times. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm in four dollars forty times. <laughs> I'm yeah. in debt four dollars for like <laughs> the rest of my life. Yeah. I pay a penny each payment. Anyways. But I wanna, yeah, I want to move on to the um, to the new CarPlay that got announced. Uh, it's not going to come out for like a few years though. Makes sense. Because I mean they need cars to come out yeah. for it. But I mean it looks it looks clean. Insane. Maybe Vic, you can throw up a, a picture for the people so they can see. So block me yeah, or whatever. Basically, but. what's going to happen is, um, since most people don't really buy cars anymore unless they they know it has Apple CarPlay. Mm. Like if you're buying your own car, most of the time, it, I think in whatever recent survey, um, people won't even they won't, they'll just be like, I don't want the car unless it has Apple CarPlay. Really? really? Yeah. I've never heard about that. I and, didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, if you're buying a car I in 2022, like yeah, if you're buying whatever the newest car is, you most just kind people of have an iPhone. Yeah. Because I mean, let's admit the the um, infotainment on modern cars is just, it sucks. It's okay. It's whatever. It's it not, looks all right. It looks okay. I mean, people this, since Tesla's have become more affordable with the Tesla Model Three. Exactly. Everyone compares it to that. Oh yeah. True. Yeah. I How mean, this is basically looks like. this is them doing their up. But I know. I, like most, I know they're been people like almost begging Apple to come out with an Apple car. I think they're the working on it. Kind of for this so do you reason. think this is like the first step into that? Yeah. Or do you oh, think yeah. they're going to stay I, in this area? I'm pretty sure I remember hearing a while back that they are. They've been working on something I think I've heard that as, like as their own car. Year. So this is definitely them kind of showing like, hey, we're moving in that direction. How do you think that would be? That'd well, be very interesting, huh? I mean, Tesla's proven that it's not easy to, to just jump, jump into the Tesla, car. Because mean, Tesla's taking years to get where they are. Oh my gosh, and it's taking a long time. I guarantee you, first car Apple comes out with, there's going to be some huge bug issues and there's going to be some, probably some lawsuits if it blows up. And, and it's going to be super well, yeah. expensive. Yeah. 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 You'll, yeah. You'll ask Siri to drive you somewhere and she'll drive you off a cliff instead. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like that's kind of out the door though. Because mm. a lot of people are always like, oh, I don't trust it because it's no, Apple. I, get it. or, I mean, Tesla's the same thing. They're pretty yeah. reliable cars. It, the, the minority of cases is like the ones that do go bad most of the time. And most of okay. the people have to like filter through all the, yeah. the cases to find it. True. Like most of the time it's not. I've seen plenty of videos of people getting through heavy LA traffic with just the, um, the like autopilot. autopilot yeah. And it works it perfectly fine. Yeah. It gets them through. Anyways. Yeah. I do think this is a huge leap forward as far as car play. Um, if I'm searching for a car in the future and it's not a Tesla, I'm for sure going to say I need this to have. Yeah, this. I, I bet I bet by 2035, they're going to have, like, this, <coughs> just, this is just the first Apple CarPlay they're ever going to have. I wouldn't be surprised if eventually they get to, like, the Tony Stark where they can just move screens all across. Well, That's I too mean, distracting, I feel like. It's distracting, but they already kind of have stuff like that in B- Well, you can't move it, but in a BMW, you can have an, oh, yeah. it's a heads-up display. Really? When you're driving. Yeah, it's like it shows the speed on the windshield when you're driving because there's a little like projector and mirror and it hits the yeah that's when you're sick. driving it's it's cool, it is very cool. Interesting. So that's coming. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised, especially in like there's that um Mercedes um, what's that called, like a prototype car. It's have you seen those? It looks almost fake. Let me see if I can pull up the picture of it real quick. I've been seeing it for years, but I just saw for the first time that it, like they actually made one real. Um. Let's see. It looks like him super futuristic. Um, I feel like I always see uh, when car companies try to come out with this is the car of the future project cars, and it looks yeah like is that what it is? Is that what it's called? No, a project I, car. I called that the wrong thing. That's like people that work on Honda Civics that like have a muffler on them. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see. that's I've noticed that uh, the old uh, yeah that's what I'm talking about. These yeah. new cars that have come out recently, the architecture of it's just very. 
Like it's, it looks it, like cars that we people in like 1980 would have thought cars. Would yeah, have yeah. but it's real now. That's what I was trying to say is yeah. like they made one, but or like the one from uh, I don't know which Mission Impossible it was. The BMW made a real car that you see driving around now, kind of with the butterfly doors. Oh, it's the low white one that, with um, the black. Rogue Nation. I was gonna say it's either that or like Ghost Protocol, right? Well, Ghost Protocol was from like 2012. So I don't know. Yeah. We can fact check it, but we can also. Rogue move Nation on was 2015. Was Fallout was 2018. I'm a big Mission Impossible fan, by the way. I want to get into them. Thanks, Tom Cruise. To Mission Impossible or the cars? Mission Impossible. Oh, sick. Yeah. The I8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That yeah. might have been Ghost Protocol. Anyways. Anyway. Yeah. We're moving on. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I kind of want to skip to, to a little, two little uh, points here. I want to get into this. I, this has been bugging my mind for a little bit. Do you guys prefer a binge rollout or a once a week rollout mm. when it comes to when it comes to your entertainment? We did talk about this briefly last week, I think. I don't I don't mm-hmm. remember. I think it was at the very end of the episode. Oh, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Like, we talked about like five minutes. It was max. very quick, but, but we were trying to wrap it up. So, well, um, maybe my point might be totally different. Yeah, let's see. Let's hear it. Let's. So it just it just depends. Uh, yeah, it's right, because we talked about Outer Banks a we little bit. We talked about Outer Banks. That's the I first think, thing. That was I think it's a bad business model to do all at once. Really? Because mm-hmm. if people binge watch it, you're not talking about it within a week. You get you talk about it for three days on Twitter, and then True. the next thing comes. Because that's, that's the way things are now. Is it's the 24-hour news cycle. Is you have, to be, you have to keep people interested for a long period of time for them to talk about it. True. Like, I always think back to WandaVision. How? Nine weeks. Like, I think, yeah, but I just remember like the grip that had. On was it everyone. really nine? It was yeah, eight. It was, yeah. Wow. But that's two months of one division. Was it really just a one episode premiere? No, it was two. I was gonna say there's no so way it was eight they, weeks. They yeah, could two not episode premiered. premiere, but they but always still that's two months of every week being like, what's gonna happen to Wanda? Yeah, it's a long time. I prefer the one once a week because also it's more digestible. You don't feel overwhelmed. It's kind of like when you get your first day of class and you see the the syllabus and you see all the assignments like, and all the exams yeah. and you're like, dude, just you almost boom, cry because like, I don't boom, know if boom. I can do this. Yeah. But then when you see like once a week, you're like, okay. Oh, okay. All right. You build up. Yeah. I feel like for me, um, Disney Plus has really capitalized on the once a week. Yeah. Uh, Netflix, I feel that. like they've they've always just been so used to just dumping out shows and seeing what sticks. That's their thing. That they're just like, I mean, like we, just dropped, into we just dropped the whole season. So, like, we don't know what gets popular until it really picks up traction. But to talk about the Disney one, I think Disney abuses it a little bit because some of these, like, Marvel or Star Wars shows could be a movie, but it's just stretched out for six hours oh, so that course. they get the engagement for six weeks, which of is, course. to me, I don't like that because it just, first of all, you could be doing, like, a character, whatever. Let's say, like, Moon Knight. You could do Moon Knight more justice if you really use each of those six episodes. But because you just want engagement every week on Twitter and people talking about it, you're not utilizing it in the same way. Yeah, there is a lot of filler and a lot of. Uh, in it's crazy shows. because they're they're it's only the running for six. They're only running for six episodes, and it's still just filler. Yep, especially, which is crazy. Especially in Moon Knight's case, that was a lot of filler. <clears throat> but there there was good stuff in that, and I was like, I would love to sit through more than six episodes of this because I want to see TV the guy show. put on the shoot on the suit. <laughs> yeah, you know? I want to see that. I want to see like more of the weird psychiatric hospital, like in your brain stuff. But you know, you they, only they got barely, six episodes. They barely really touched on that, huh? Yeah. Then, yeah. yeah, anyways, that's my yeah, gripe with the Disney. They introduced Jake at the very last scene. That's yeah, that's kind yeah, of yeah, a bummer, right. too. But I, I feel like we really, really saw how captive of an audience you can have with the with the once-a-week rollout when it was, like, Euphoria season. Oh, yeah. I feel because like... Because it's such, like, a captivating show. Yeah. So having that, like, and once a week... especially because the fan base was so, like, everyone got into it. Yeah. Because it's not hard of a show to get into. It's just people hanging out, and it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that That's first season, those first few episodes are a little bit more than that. And it's like, why am I doing this? But you continue to do it. They have you hooked no matter what it is. But I think the most exciting thing that happened in the second season was just the play. Yeah, that was the biggest deal. Yeah. I didn't, controversial opinion, I didn't like the play. I wasn't really a fan of the play either, I yeah. will say. I know I a lot of people loved it. When I found out it, that was how the season was going to end, I was it kind of a lot. bummer. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of bummed because it started off really strong. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty. That party, that yeah, that whole first episode was like, whoa, this is really awesome. cool. Yeah, once once it was like an hour and a half meltdown of Rue, yep. I was just kind of like, okay, I'm kind of losing. Yeah, it's my opinion. Hot take: second season mid. Did you watch it? I watched it. Yeah. Okay, for sure. It was yeah, it was all right. I I was not. I thought first season was really good. 
Um, but it's been three years. And it's gonna be another three years till the third season, right? It's just well, yeah, you know, Zendaya's freaking availability is who knows what. Yeah, she's in I don't everything, know. dude. I was, uh, I just was not. I mean, as please, especially the script in Euphoria. Well, there was little to no script. There's yeah. little to no <laughs> script, but I know that changed a lot because of COVID. For some reason, I think a lot of things. Maybe I know there are certain things that happen between certain cast members, and right. so they didn't want to shoot director. scenes. And the director and Sam Levinson and what he, you know, changed his vision. So, but he has a show coming out later this year with the weekend. Yep, the and, Idol. Uh, I'm on the fence about it. I want to be excited, but is it Sam Levinson? Yeah, yeah, Sam Levinson. He the sat weekend down and, and yeah, I wrote it with the Troy weekend. Sivan and Lily Rose. Depp, Do you think, think the weekend's gonna show his dick? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Not not the way that gets private. No pun intended. Um, I feel like <laughs> how much of a... There's either two ways that could go. Well, yes. assuming he does show his dick. Full frontal. Yeah. The, everyone's either going to be like, holy shit, or it's going to be like a, a sigh of relief. <laughs> you Dude, know? no. Because honestly, if that guy's of, a small dick, I feel so much better about myself. Think of how many, think of how many guys are just sitting there listening to this guy's music like dude this guy's dude, body count is like quadruple insane. digits yeah, yeah I feel like no, it's, Drake too. it's probably actually quadruple digits and That's you're just insane. like he's singing about all this stuff all these girls are just like able i all want you them, yeah and you just see he has like the most a average yeah just no like four inches if he's four Pien. inches bro i'm like yeah i'm, I'm he's just like us <sighs> yeah. yeah i think drake is like a seven inch one for sure though you think yeah i, I think heard no i heard like a that's why Drake has a line in one of his songs. Like that's why uh, I think it's back to back. He's like, that's why I got the Midas touch. Uh. I remember, I remember, like at the time when I was like really researching this, like like girls would say like he's the best he's that they've ever had because and that's why he said I got the Midas touch. He paid them to do that. I I don't think so, dude. Too many people. He couldn't take that hit for. No, nah, I feel like he's hired a coach. Oh my god! No crazy story I've heard about yeah. Drake is that he has someone who goes out to cities wherever he's at, and like they he picks up girls and he just takes them back to Drake's house to you know. To just hang out. Yeah, just really. Like, yeah, and like he just picks someone. That's how. That's how like popping he is. That's kind of how that uh the one episode of Atlanta was, where the girls get picked and they go to Drake's party and Drake's not even exactly. there. Well, yeah, it's kind of cool. I yeah. feel like. I mean, I would just say yes. Yeah, I just. Like, I yeah, would I say would, yes. Yeah, I want to go hang out with Drake. I would just check out his place. Yeah. The the museum that he lives in. Exactly. The cold hard museum. Shoot some hoops. I feel like this. Yeah, at a certain point, that's not even a house. It's not. Yeah. It's just kind of sad. Yeah. This house is not a home. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Abel. <laughs> but to go back to that show real quick, I'm a, a little on the fence about it, and I said that because um, apparently <laughs> there wasn't enough of him in it the weekend himself, so they went back and like reshot and rewrote well, things so that he was more focused on the show, even though it's about the idol, which is Lily Rose Depp. Oh. He was like, "Yeah, I'm not in it." Well, because he's like a selling point. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of yeah. like with Zendaya this past season, they were just like, uh, we need more Zendaya content, even though the majority of the focus is on Nate and Cassie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Zendaya did her thing. She's, she was, she she's was definitely a, amazing. She was magnificent. Uh, yes. Can you, can she you, knocked you, out of the park. Can you just keep screaming, please? <laughs> <laughs> she did an awesome job, though. It all felt like... No, it was great. It was like honestly. a little too real. It was like, you kind of like a little... That's what I was like, How do you, yeah, how do you was, act so scary. well about being a drug addict? Yeah, yeah, it's scary. But she does a great job. Shout yeah. out to Zendaya. Oh my god! <laughs> I couldn't have planned that Dude. if I wanted to. It's too late. No claps. Just that. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! That was great. Yeah. Sorry, Zendaya. Shout out to you, Zendaya. Uh, Tom Holland, you. don't beat me up. <laughs> but yeah, the the one week rollout only works if. The content is really good and keeps people if they're actually trying on the edge of their seat. Yeah, because yeah. I remember, I forget which show it was like a Marvel show. It might have been like Hawkeye. Okay, it was like after episode three, and I was like, "Do I really?" Episode four drops. Like, am I really gonna like? Am I really that interested in watching it? It's it, it, like if you're not keeping people like, yeah, like like especially I waited you know, until Hawkeye was all the way done because I was enough. like, you I could binge it. Yeah, and I was just kind of like, let's just get this over with, man. <laughs> It's Hawkeye. It, it was. I felt it's bad Jeremy for the Renner. Guy. Yeah. We can use this as a segue, but I for I okay. I would use like to use this as a segue, but um, we I want to kind of add in what Stranger Things has been doing lately. Okay. Is this hybrid? This like new once a week hybrid rollout, where it's it's fair. Yeah, it is a hybrid. It's a rollout, hybrid huh? rollout, yeah. kind of, because it's. It's it's enough where you can binge the whole thing, but you're not technically caught up all the way. Mm-mm. 
You know, when it there's when still it does a piece drop, missing. there's still yeah, there's still a whole part of the season that's not out yet, that's, whether you like it or not. There's like three hours left. Yeah. Yeah. What do you What do you think about the Stranger Things rollout? To be honest, I have never watched this episode of Stranger Things. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he hasn't but, seen it. I forget. But every from what time. you're saying, it sounds like. So what they're what they're basically what they're doing they've dropped the first half of the fir- of the fourth first season. seven episodes yeah it kind of, it kind of sounds like the TV version of what Harry Potter and the Hunger Games did all those years ago with part one you part know two. what that's true that's exactly what that it's is, called volume one and volume the more two. things change the more they stay the same yeah history repeats itself yeah. yeah you know what that's that's enlightening bro I never thought of that that was yeah that was a good, good and connection it seems like Harry Potter is the only franchise that really did that well I remember Divergent tried doing that and that thing flopped and they didn't the even finish their they didn't even finish yeah. the hunger games tried doing it, it and then it didn't sell that well to set the part two but yeah it seems like the i think that may do you think that's the way to go in the future for tv it depends um i think if it's you can't you can't do it with a brand new show no i know you i feel like euphoria could do this for sure oh my gosh people euphoria would, could do this yeah, and people, people would be, be all freaking over it out I because think, yeah because yeah. you're doubling your relevance yep yeah you come out, yeah, two times in one year. I think the only, I think that shows are only going to do that when they're ending. When they they make it clear like we're ending, they want to milk it as much as possible. Which is kind of what's happening. It, yeah. it was Stranger Things; they announced already. So the, and that's what happened with Harry Potter and the Hunger Games. True. Like the last movie is like we're going to do this. Yeah, there's only one more season after this, so yeah. Yeah, but they're treating it like it's the finale, dude. It's, no, I know, which is like confusing. You know, I'm like. You guys are really You've treating this like this is it. No, everyone's talking things. about this. Should I just go full on sheep? And just, just yeah, suck it up. Go dive right in. It's Should I follow the wave? Yeah. Should I ride the wave? I will, I I will admit I'm usually like one of those people that's like, I am not too big on the like whatever like the biggest thing is right now. But I will say Stranger Things always keeps me like, I remember where I like the show now. No, yeah. It, really? I, I will, really. I'll crap really on it or be show. like, oh my oh, gosh. And then I come back and I'm like, no, I do like this show. I mean, I love the 80s synth sound and you're so gonna you love always, season I heard one you play a playlist i'm like okay i should check this out yeah dude the soundtrack is amazing it's great it always is they blow yeah Kyle i heard Dixon season and, two yeah. kind of mid though yeah season two I, is definitely the I lowest will say, point i will say i've loved season one and season two was very forgettable yeah season okay. season one season two season, season three, three is awesome and then yeah like season four is like right there with uh, season, season two was the season that a lot of people said the show really didn't need to go on this much. And yeah, then they, they like got stopped season three watching and they're like, or, okay, yeah. I mean, I'm back. They're like, yeah, I like this again. And now season four came out and everyone's like, holy crap, this is the best show I've ever Because it just gets seen. bigger and but bigger. But doesn't the show, the whole show, only take place like over the course of two years? Because mm. I saw something that the kid, uh, the gave something. Guy, it's 1985 now, right? He's 19. 86. But he's supposed to be playing a 14 year old now. Who? The the Gabe, his name's the act, actual actor's guy is like Gabe and like something. I forgot. Gaten? Or yeah, maybe he's getting the curly Dustin? hair, curly yeah, hair guy. Dustin. He's, he's well, nineteen yeah, now, all, but he's playing fourteen. In Joe the show. Keery is thirty years old, and he's playing a nineteen-year-old. Hey, Dustin's a believable fourteen-year-old. I will he say he is yeah. though. They still, they still, <laughs> for the most part, fat. those kids. Yeah, look, um, no, they're great. They look, they look older, but they're still kids. Except they're for still Mike, teenagers. Dude. Mike's just a supermodel now. Yeah, Finn Wolfhard like Finn got, Wolfhard like, is full, just too like yeah. Chad face. Yeah, he's just grew in. I think. So. Do you think he's too uh, old for the show now? Um. He's getting there, and there. I know there's going to be a time jump in the next season, is what the the director oh, said. Really? Yeah, and I'm he's like, getting, that makes sense. He's getting two. He's, mov- he's, he's getting two movie star. I feel like that. Um, Noah Schnapp, who plays Will, his voice is like dropped a bunch of octaves from yeah the beginning. He's not the same little Will that got stuck in the upside down and like. Have you seen Buff club. Will? Yeah, I've seen Buff Will. Buff Will Byers, right I, here. Yeah, it's yeah, so that, funny. Yeah, this guy Will. right here. Yeah. I, I like Buff those Will. memes of Buff Will. Anyways, uh, speaking of Hawkeye, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I Great said I wanted to use that as a transition. I know, I know. There we go. Hawkeye. In Hawkeye, I feel like uh, a, a big Hot criticism guy. for the for the show that I was like, the guy was just getting undermined the whole time by, by a new, uh, we were undermining a legacy character the whole time by just like this newcomer that yeah, like random. Fett? Yeah, so I want to I want to transition. Is that okay. is the same thing kind of happening in Obi Wan? Mm. We're undermining a legacy character with the uh, like these brand new people that we're just introducing. Like who? We're undermining Obi Wan with you know Reva? young Leia and and Reva, so I think and then the Grand Inquisitor is getting undermined, obviously by by Reva. Yeah, I'm kind so of. So I think in Hawkeye. That. I think Hawkeye. The whole point of that was to set up um, Haley Steinfeld's character for. Know future young adventures or whatever, whatever they're going to be in. Be in yeah. so he was trying yeah. to get us attached to her, 
Because I think that's part of the biggest problem with like Eternals, for example, was they didn't they, get that. They try to make his attach and then kill him off like halfway through the movie. That's kind of weird. Um, so I think that's why Hawkeye tried to do on that show was just you guys attach that character and like guess like aware of who she is. I think they did a pretty decent. Obi Wan, I'm. Yeah, it, I'm so I, I really have a problem with them using, using milking Leia this much. Mm. I did not think that was going to happen. I didn't at all. know she was going to be in the show. I at had all. no idea. First yeah, of all, this was going to happen when I, um, <laughs> I like to think of that meme of the guy and he's looking in the first in the first panel. He's like, and then, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, the I second was like one. They're watching like... all the Obi Wan stuff, and then it's like twenty minutes of like Leia, and I'm like, because <laughs> I was like. I knew instantly when she got more than like 10 minutes of screen time, she's I was like, around. I was like, she's going to stick around. Yeah. It was, uh, first of all, they kept her from any of the marketing material before. Yeah. No yeah. one knew. No idea. Not a word. So I was like, oh, sick. We're going to see Obi-Wan. But I remember, yeah, watching the first episode and being like, oh, we're focusing on somebody other than old Ben. All right. That's interesting. So. Um, but yeah, let's, let's talk about the episode four then, since she has been milked even further and is, is still in this. So yeah, the, the cool scene I really liked from that was the tomb or thing, a part where Obi-Wan sees all the other Jedi. Oh, Oh. that was pre six. That was cool. Wait, we forgot to give a spoiler warning. Oh yeah. Sorry. We, I said episode four, so I I mean, technically we're behind. Because this is coming. This is going to be Friday. This will be Friday, so or you guys will have seen episode five, five yeah, episode right. the penultimate episode. So that I really like that. That was um, that was cool to see. Little Clone Wars reference in there. Yeah, little Clone Wars reference. I w- I wish they could. Uh, I wish we could know who those people are, who they play. I heard that um the the high Re- High Republic show coming out. Oh, I know. Yeah, I the can't Acolyte. remember. Is that is that the, the High Acolyte. Republic one? I okay. am very much excited. I, that one's about a female Sith. I know that. Yes, I am very much excited. Quick t- side tangent. Yeah. I am very much interested in like old Republic, old Republic High Republic yeah. stuff. Um, stuff is cool. And I wish, not wish, I'm glad that we are getting more stuff where there's not really a canon set. Mm. Because God knows we need a fresh slate for Star Wars right no, now. No, yeah. We, <laughs> no, we need, need more stop. Skywalkers. Yeah, I know. We, they need to stop messing with the Skywalker saga. Yeah. I don't know why this Obi-Wan thing is happening when, you know, a lot of the big stuff is, they're just kind of saying, we need to just kind of let the Skywalker stuff just be. Well, I was I was talking about this with the friend of the show, Connor, Connor Delgado. Um, shout out to Connor. Shout out Connor. I know he's not listening. It's okay. Um, but... Seeing that in person is just something else, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were like, yeah, you could take out the whole Obi-Wan show and it wouldn't change anything for his character. I just right think now. there's so, the, the, the 20 year gap, there's just so many possibilities and fans theorize like what you could do with the show. And there's all those comics written, stories written about it. Yep. And people just want to yep. see it. And people all want to see, like, now that the prequels have, uh, when they first came out, everyone hated them. Now, but they, now they're getting that traction. They, they hope yeah. For. So I think now they're trying to, Star Wars is trying to you know, capitalize on, on that. that. But also, I think the fans were like, there's so many things you could do with this Obi-Wan thing, blah, blah, blah. And it's not any way that anybody no, I, went at all. No. Um, well, let's uh, let's all state our opinions on the show so far. Okay. So, so Will, as a whole. Will, what do you? how do you feel about the show so far? Scale 1 to 10, I'd say like a 6 and a half, 6. Or just not not a number. Just how are you feeling? How I feel, Um, I, I wish there was more him finding his way back to being an actual Jedi and not... Yeah. It feels like I mean obviously Leia is helping him find his way back, um, and I'm I'm glad they're also not using Tatooine as much. Oh my, oh my god! Gosh, thank yeah. God, god. Yeah, off that so damn afraid. desert! Yeah. Oh my god! I was just yeah. But at the same time, I wish they didn't use it as much for like the Mandalorian and all that because that's where Luke is. You know, yeah. it's a cool place. Years, so obviously yeah. Obi Wan's gonna be there. Uh, I wish they had him like using like doing more adventures as a Jedi and. Just having like I, don't, I, I feel like it. he's I feel like he's like dead inside. He's like a shell of himself. He is, and so I I was kind of disappointed with that, and especially when the first uh, was the first or second episode where he just turned that Jedi away. I really wish that was like his oh, it's calling I, of. I need there's this. more out there. Let me go find what who's out there still. Yeah, you know, um, maybe even throw a Yoda reference in there. Maybe but he doesn't have a ship, huh? Yoda? No, no uh, Obi Wan. Oh, Obi Wan doesn't. No, either, he doesn't no. have yeah. a ship. No. He's stuck, but. Uh, my feelings as a whole, I think I'm enjoying the like the moments that obviously you're supposed to, and as a whole, it's like it's been pretty good. But like you were saying, it's it's not anything that I thought 
I was going to get out of it. Like, I, I don't agree. know. There's, it's hard to put my finger on it, but yeah, there's something about seeing him almost, you know, last Jedi style, you know, be like this kind of grumpy old man of like, mm-hmm. uh, I got to babysit this kid. I'm like, I don't want to see Obi-Wan Kenobi babysit, you know, Leia. I'm like, no. I would like to see him, you know, maybe dealing with sand people or something and trying to keep those away from, you know, Luke and stuff. And just, I don't know, it, as much as like, I know we're stuck on ta- tattooing again, but yeah, there's something. And I think what you were saying, you know, that there's so much time in between the 20 years. I almost don't even need this because it's more fun to let your imagination run free and think of what could have possibly happened instead of having a definitive definition because no one's ever going to be truly happy with a definitive definition. And that's why the majority of the Star Wars fan base is it's kinda very, like, uh, very mad right it's now. It's all right, yeah. Because it's not what the the canon, the comics that were canon before but aren't now, it's not that, and it's, you know, it's not the Legends books. It's It's what Disney is doing, so... I kind of wish they did like a star, like a Clone Wars type thing. Where every every three episodes of Clone Wars was a totally different storyline. Mm, yeah, I kind of wish for like every episode of Obi Wan these had a whole new adventure he did. Yeah, the 20 years. within that time. Yeah, and so he slowly gets older and older to to the point where he's basically right right before New Hope. He's Sir Alec Guinness, you know. Yeah, he's old. For me, I feel like Damn, there's. Sick. I feel like there's two ways to look at this, and the first way is, damn, I wish they I, there's like this this way that's going around on the internet that everyone wants yeah. kind of wanted it to be yeah. and it, it's called it, it's it's a slideshow basically <laughs> is what they wanted oh yeah the, I, I saw that it's a slideshow they just kind of wanted a bunch of live greatest action greatest hits yeah a, a kind of a greatest hits they just wanted to see Obi-Wan and Anakin uh, just doing their thing and being badass and they I don't know they wanted to see I don't know they just wanted to see fan stuff they wanted to see episode 3 but more yeah you know and which is understandable we're not getting that I will say I'm very I'm I'm just kind of let down because it it just feels like it's he's getting undermined and they're not really focusing on a lot of the stuff they said they would like he has he hasn't even tried to contact Qui Gon you know uh, he's not really worried about it's it's episode four and the guy's barely pulling a lightsaber I know and he can't slice through a stormtrooper once <laughs> no uh, yeah he kind of just taps him <laughs> yeah I thought he tried reaching out to Qui-Gon and his he tries but like he, he like he episode. hasn't yeah. he hasn't successfully but done it I hope he successfully does it but they haven't like really a, focused they haven't really focused on Obi-Wan that much yeah he's it's kinda, been all over the place he's kind of just running around yeah, he's Ben not Obi-Wan yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. he's kind of just running around and and it's not going to be that satisfying when all of a sudden he becomes like full true Jedi you know exactly. Lego Star Wars full Jedi <laughs> yeah <again>. and <laughs> He just magically reconnects with the Force. He's old and is like, "Oh, I need to go protect Luke." Now. Because because in yeah. Episode Four, he's you know he's like he's, wise he's an old yeah he's yeah. like an old wise badass man. You know what I mean? And now he's just kind of like, "I'm scared." No, he's I'm definitely not like that's a name after a I haven't heard in a long, long time. Yeah, exactly. You know? He's not that guy. He's, he's not like, like reminiscing, bro. I'm just trying to do my job. Why I gotta go watch this kid? You're like, it's not the Obi Wan that I know. You yeah. know, but so that that's kind of. I will say, though, I, I really wish we could see at least... Like, they keep marketing it as, hey, Hayden's back in Dude, Star Wars. Dude, I was just about to touch yeah. on that, yeah. They always keep saying, hey, uh, he's back. He's back. Hayden's back. Hayden's and back. And he's excited. He's doing so press. Like, what is this man excited about? The guy was the guy was MIA for, like, 20 years, and now... On his farm, yeah. yeah. on the farm, and now he's doing press. He's showing up to Star Wars Celebration. He's at, yeah, he's Disneyland, saying, all Yeah, he's things. saying memes and stuff yeah. for everyone, and, like, he hasn't said one word. No. A um, computer... The comp- <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I did hear that he um is at the end of episode four. That's him who like storms down the hallway and he stands there. But I'm like, I don't Thanks. know that. Yeah, He's I, in the suit. I want to. I wouldn't have figured out unless you told me. I wish there was more of that. And it's one singular moment at the end of yeah. episode two where she's like, you don't know. And he has that moment where they connect in the force. It's him and they go back and forth between Vader's eyes while he's in the tank and Kenobi sitting there. I wish there was more of that of them like. They had that uh, pause, feeling them, uh, feeling each other, but you know what I mean. They had them so. give episode four, right? When uh, Obi Wan, yeah, was in the back to tank and yeah, the visions of Anakin, I think, also in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did so, a little bit of that, but I just wish there was more because, like you said, they've marketed it so heavily. I was like, Hayden's back, guys. And you're a like, lot of the marketing I've, was, "Hey, guys, this is." I haven't if, seen Hayden. If you liked episode three or the prequels, <laughs> you're gonna I mean, love you're this, gonna love baby. This, and, and so far, those people have not loved this. If you love getting watching your. Legacy characters get undermined by a bunch of random by people. By a, a, a child, yeah. yeah. But yeah. I, I will say for what it's worth, if we 
are going to appreciate Leia. They did a fantastic job. I've said this before, casting her. I think she does a great job. She embodies, to me at least personally, like the spirit and of Princess Leia. Of course, everyone was annoyed with, you know, Princess Leia as Carrie Fisher when she was... Obviously, they weren't annoyed with Carrie Fisher, but that's like her... Um, she's just strong-headed and, yeah, exactly. you know, that's stubborn her personality. and she's a leader. So she's so. stubborn and we're strong-headed and always like, no, I'm doing this my way. Exactly. So, I mean, it 100% makes sense. But we can't keep letting this child run away and everybody can't catch her. That's literally the show <laughs> is Leia runs away and Kenobi follows her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but shout to Leia for not being a snitch. Dude, yeah. I was scared. I was very scared yeah. she was going to snitch, but then she was like, She's uh, clever. Not today. I wouldn't have been scared because, I mean, you know those things that were coming at her? They, yeah. They reset every time so Kenobi could keep running down the, <laughs> the hallway. <laughs> they reset. I wouldn't be... Okay, I I feel like I've lost so much respect for the Empire in this past episode four. Because of just the way they were able to get away so easily? Dude, the guy's like right here and they can't shoot him. I know. <laughs> I know. Everybody was like this. And I was like, no one's no one's, no one's going to take the shot, the huh? The clearest He's shot He's right ever. there. He's like... Two feet in front of Or you. at least throw the cuffs on him immediately, yeah. you know? But they're like... Or uh, what's the undercover girl's name? Tala. 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 Yeah. We were right. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Where she just beats up two stormtroopers and Dude, they're just kind of standing there like this. I will admit, yeah, she just straight like face palms one of the guys and he kind of just goes... And he was like, oh, yeah. okay, that think, stopped him. I the, think we're seeing the most incompetent villains. Yeah. The room she was in helping Obi-Wan with directions, there was like five other people in there. They all didn't hear her yeah, at just, all. I know. Like, no, but she was giving directions. She was giving yeah. directions. She's like, by the way, the Darth, Darth Vader's coming. He's going to... Nobody's like... Hey. Hey. What, what she's are you, definitely, yeah, giving out directions. Giving out directions. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah she was there for like five, ten minutes giving out directions. Yeah. That guy that was in the charge was just walking around. All of a sudden, he's like, wait. Who are you? I've never let, seen you. Let's talk about the premise of the episode, how it, they were just like, uh, she just all of a sudden, because uh, she was getting pressed about, yeah. about where's your the, clearance, where's the, you know, yeah. we don't know who you are. And then all of a sudden she's like, oh, I'm higher ranking than you, by the way. That was very like, weird, yeah, too. Like, oh, he shit. was like, yes, yeah, ma'am, yes. you got it. And yeah. I was like, right away. But you were, you were, you were questioning her. Yeah. Like, bro, what happened there? You folded immediately. And yeah. then when, when they're beta. <laughs> <laughs> Darth Vader's beta, the Empire's <laughs> beta, dude. No, I found it interesting that Darth Vader is like beta. Well, he is beta. Yeah. No, but his like Rogue his can't force pulls through the fire. Yeah, I know. He can't yeah. Force pull he a waited. droid. His lair, like his what what would we call that? The castle. The castle was on Sick. water. Kind of the opposite of sand, right? Oh no, that was the Inquisitor. No, 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 that's that was the Inquisitor. That's for the Inquisitor. Also, Amaz. that's the dumbest name I've ever heard. It's like Blackagar Boltagon. Yeah, Fortress Inquisitorius. Blackagar Boltagon. <laughs> that's the man's real name. That's pretty cool. That sounds like a Smash Bros. power up. Like Blackagar Boltagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that I do. I get where you're coming from. But yeah, that. that was um. No, he's in his place of pain on his castle. Yeah, that the Mustafar. Episode four, not it. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. I will say that was one of the episodes. After talking about it, I do me. understand. Well, that how you guys I, feel yeah. about the tomb scene? Was, were you guys like, well, eh. it was very forgettable in the context of the the whole episode being just like, oh, what the heck? Why didn't yeah. they do this? Why didn't they And do every this? time they, they panned to one of the amber tombs, I was like, who's it going to be? And it was like, a nobody. Right. A nobody. A I nobody. Them. Old man from Clone Wars. A like, nobody. yeah, we get it. Not the in, the entire Star Wars us- universe isn't like four I don't need people. to see, yeah, like Kit Fisto, like yeah. hanging there, you know, but still. That'd be sick. Dead Padme there. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vader just keeps her, yeah, in the fortress. Knows where she is. Keeps her. Yeah, Anyways. I don't know. Part of me is, part of me is like, yeah, I'm kind of over the Skywalker saga. And I, then, yeah. I was really excited for this. I felt like a little kid before this came out. I was I like, think, Star Wars is cool again. I think this is the first time we're seeing anyone with... Okay, so we okay. had... Mandalorian first, right? Yep. Did we Mando. have anything before Mando season two? What do you mean? Just like, the movies, I think. Yeah, it was just Oh, the season two? Did we no. have anything no. before season two? Just no. the movies. No. Okay. So just until Mando. For, those, for those two seasons, yes. everyone liked Disney Star Wars. It was awesome. Everyone liked I Disney plus Star Mando. Wars, right? I still do. It wasn't until they started bringing in legacy characters. Yeah. That everyone's like, what is going on? Well, even, yeah, like the finale of season two. That was like, yeah. you either loved it or like... No, right. They brought Luke back into the mix, even though it was this standalone character that made his own legacy. And it's like, 
now the Skywalkers are connected to somebody else now. Yeah, exactly. So, you know? I mean, on top of that, everything, it's just more of the Skywalker back to them. saga. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, Boba Fett, f- they've dropped the bag on that. They dropped the ball on that. The yeah. Yeah. Missed the mark. It was just the Mando episode. Especially cool, towards the end. But, and that's like the, that's, if you haven't watched, just watch those for and the new Mando I feel like season they hadn't, that's coming out. I feel like part of them were, they were just like, shoot, guys, we, we really need to film some more Mandalorian content. Like, But we can't film a full season yet. Yeah. We don't like, have Like, we know these episodes are weak. Yeah. Well, That's yeah, they're I'm like, saying. or they're filler, yeah. you know? Like, well, no, we're saying that the Boba stuff is kind of, lo- like, just la- so lackluster. Makes sense. That they're like, we should. Let's push this. We should put Din Mando Jaren. back in this. Yeah. Yeah. And it ended up being the strongest stuff out of the whole season. That's what brought people back there. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. No, seriously. So, I don't know. I'm kind of excited for clean slate, like the Acolyte. Yeah. Or like... um. I think that's the direction they're going to take. Well, kind in of. In the future is more... I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, we got legacy characters in that. No. Uh, well, yeah. Ahsoka. We have Ahsoka. Um, we have... I'm trying to think off the top of my head the other ones. There's the Acolyte that we named, which is Old Republic Sith stuff. The guy that's Andor? been in the fight since he was six years old. Yeah. Andor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's been in the fight. I've been in this fight since I was six years old. I'll watch that, too. I'll watch that. I'm going to watch it all, and I'll complain about it, That's or I'll love it, but, you know, <laughs> I've been in the fight since <laughs> I was six. That's, like, okay. the line that sticks with that everyone. <laughs> yeah. He's just been in the fight since he was six years old. Six. Thank That's you, big. bro. Yeah. Shout out to you. Yeah. I don't know. It's I feel kind of the same with Star Wars and Marvel right now, where I'm like, I have my issues, but I'll continue to watch it, hoping that it gets better, or... Even with Marvel, I can't remember if I said this last week, but I get like they, you know, they're putting on a new project, say like Miss Marvel, you know, it just came out this past week. And I get excited to like research the character and like read the comics. But then, you know, I seems like now I get sorely disappointed with the, the way they went with the character because they decided to MCU ify it and make him haha funny guy number 29 or whatever the deal is, you know. So, are we going to talk about Miss Marvel? Yeah, did we you, can, we can, we segue, all watched Miss Marvel, correct? Yes. Did you not like it? No, 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 I did. I was going to okay. touch on that and say that they kind of surprised me in that as- aspect of it. Of it was very different. People call it Disney Channel-esque. I'm like, I get it. It's more <laughs> juvenile, but it's not a Disney yeah, Channel 15. show for sure. William, but did you watch uh, Never Have I Ever? It's a Netflix original. Never With, Have uh, I Ever. With Matreiri Ramakrishnan. What the greatest song ever. I don't believe so. I, mean, I don't uh, think I've it, seen it, no. It's, uh, Mindy Colling was, the, oh, was really? the producer. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, it's about a... It's got a dope song. So it's... it's. I feel like you guys should have watched that and anyone who has to seen that show. Pose. If you watch Ms. Marvel, you're immediately going to be reminded of that. Like, obviously, it's a different culture. She's Pakistani. She's yeah. not Indian. But yeah, I've never seen the, pre- uh, the trailer for this. I haven't seen it, though. It's that exact same vibe. Is like, I'm... Like a little quirky, a little very quirky. My, my parents are very hard traditionalist, on me, yeah. hard on me, and I'm the one girl in the family, and yeah. I have like this traumatic backstory. But at the same time, like, want to make a name for myself or something. Yeah, and the entire cast, you won't find a straight white guy. <laughs> That's the big part of the <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. The the Shout entire cast. You know what? Shout out to diversity and pride. Yeah. Let that one roll through. They deserve <laughs> it. Let freedom ring. It's June, baby. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'm going to Yeah. But anyways, back to, to Miss Marvel. Um, of course, they have a guy that's just like the tech, the guy in the chair. The, tech, guy, in the, yeah, chair? the guy in the, the chair. The guy in the chair. They always have to have that, right? I, I would, think that is our one straight white that's guy. That's our one, yeah, straight white guy. We'll allow it. They actually had a little bit of like a romantic tension between them. I didn't a like bit. that. I just let them be friends. I'm so sick they of like a guy and a girl days, yeah, huh? not being put on. Like, let them be friends, bro. Yeah, I guarantee you season two, he's going to like like someone else and she's going to... Or like, cry. Or I saw, I because I haven't really watched the trailers for this show. Um, they had a weekend though. They did. That was, that cool. was cool. I that did cool. like that. The I instrumental. Sent that to you. Yeah, and yeah. he was like, "There's Adam's two favorite things in one." <laughs> um, <laughs> do, 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 do. I love everything that's popular. <laughs> but um, I thought it was a very yeah. I, I thought it was a great starter for the show. It was a lot different than anything right now, at least in the MCU. It was like a very big breath of fresh air. I was going to say that. It I is a huge breath of fresh air. The animations that they yep. would do, like when she's like, zombie Captain Marvel and blah, 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 like all this cool stuff in the background. I'm like, they're going above and beyond for this. I hope it stays the whole time and we don't end up with a giant laser battle at the end of the show that's just full of CG, even though it probably will be. But 
Adding right on. now they're starting to strong. Going to going off of the yeah. the battle thing. Um I feel like the the whole superhero thing was really pressed aside other than the fact yeah. that she was Okay. Obviously there was it's nothing but look at the MCU. Avengers. I love the yeah, yeah. I love the Avengers. I love the Avengers. But I feel like the whole I get oh, by saying. the way, I got my own powers now kind of thing. That wasn't until the very end. Out of nowhere. And it was yeah. very brushed aside. Yeah. The yeah, focus the, the, was more on her. Which I like. Which I like. But the, the mom obviously knows something about that, that wristband bracelet thing. Yeah, but they yeah, barely but mentioned find it. Anything like, yeah, about it, it in that first episode. They're just like, oh, 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 that's like family history. I'm just, by the way. I'm just intrigued about how they're going to go with the show because every Marvel movie is, there's a villain, you got to defeat the villain. They're somewhat I, similar to you. I can't, I can't seem... I can't seem to find like what villain they're going to introduce to this. I have no idea. Is it going to be herself? Is it going to be her I mom? I know that's what I was just is thinking it be that, right that now. Bully? Is that bully going to be a scroll? You think? I was going to think. Is know. it going to be this? Is it going to be the bully? Is the bully going to have like an ancient family thing as well? Yeah. You know um, how like oh, the past couple MCU villains are just like, oh, it's the same guy but bad in a different font. It's a yeah. superhero, but yeah, evil, exactly. But, uh, like Killmonger. Said, yeah, kind of like that. It's a sympathetic villain. Yeah. Ever since Thanos, that's you know. Well, Thanos is really biggest, well written, but yeah, that's besides the point. But that's a fantastically well done villain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not only yeah technologically, but character wise too. But I don't yeah, know. I think, like I said, they haven't really set up much of her powers at all. But I mean, it's the first episode, so I'm I'm gonna cut him some slack. But it is an origin story at the same time. But the, the origin story is like I see it as like all six episodes. That's true. You know, so it's like if you read the first two pages of the book and we're like, why didn't she, why didn't they explain it all already? It's like, it's got, you know, five more episodes. So, but yeah, um, yeah, I think it was a good show. I like I, I it. the show a lot. I think it was, you said it's a Great breath start. of fresh air. I think oh, yeah. it's interesting you say that because I think everything Marvel has tried to do recently is different. I mean, Moon Knight was different. The Doctor Strange, the way they shot and told the story was different. Um, I think everything has tried to be a little unique and a little different. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like figure out like why this one stuck better than those the other shows and other movies. I because think it's less mature. What do you mean? It's it's way it's less juvenile. mature. Think of yeah, it's it's more lighthearted. They don't care so much about the world's not ending. Yeah, the world's not going to end with whatever threat comes to Ms. Marvel. She just is trying to. It's both. We don't find especially in its target audience, you can tell it's not meant for anyone older than us. Exactly. I think we're like, like the oldest 30. the oldest people that can maybe enjoy this show. And that's like it's it's pandering to like deep Gen Z. Yeah. Is yeah. what I'm thinking. Like if you're in if you're like in high school and maybe old middle school. Well, yeah, the, I mean the first that's episode's name that's is that's called Generation Y, yeah. which is the one under us, I yeah. believe. So that's who that's uh, that's who it's for, I think. Is people that are which is cool. not even getting acceptance letters yet. You, you know, know, good for them. But no, I think, yeah, part of the reason this, I don't know, it's, um, what's it, uh, lands the, what is that? Sticks the landing? Sticks the landing, thank you. Lands the sticking. Yeah, lands yeah. the sticking. Um, Not Spider-Man, but. um, Sticks in your landing. I don't know, yeah, I guess the juvenile part of it just really, like, livens the show because it's not like the multiverse is ending and we have to do this or, you know, oh my God, I have a split personality, but the most basic villain possible has a thing and he wants power and he's going to make the the world evil, you know? Evil um, me. Yeah, exactly, yeah. you know? He was once Khonshu too. It's just juvenile, yeah. It's just I go to school and I really like Captain Marvel and, oh, shoot, I have powers now. We'll see how that goes. You guys are going to come back next week and say Miss Marvel. Mid, 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 Miss, Miss, mid, yeah. Mid, mid, Marvel. Miss, mid, mid, Miss, Marvel, yeah. Yeah, you're going to find out the guy, that the tech guy, is somehow going to be... He's going to be the villain. Yeah, he's going to be the villain somehow. Kind of like how, yeah, Spider-Man PS5 Miles Morales is. Oh my god, my best friend's the villain. Spoiler alert, if you haven't finished that game, sorry, I just ruined it for Thanks, you. Thanks, bro. It's okay. <laughs> I never touch my PS4 anymore. I, <laughs> but I picked my path by getting the Xbox. True. It's a nice Xbox, though. I do. Good stuff. Love my Xbox. Um, But yeah, I don't know. Um... And we have a few other MCU projects coming out, you know, very yeah. soon. She Hulk, She Hulk, The War comes out. I next think month. second half of this year, we're going to just be tired, drowning in Marvel content. And I feel like most of it is going to be mid, mid to below <laughs> average. Yeah, yeah. That's such a funny outlook. Mid to below average. Because they had the, the the everyone's just so pessimistic about Marvel. Yeah, now. the Black it's Panther weird. movie. Well, the Black Panther movies come now, and they got She Hulk. The She Hulk yeah. CGI. Everyone's ripping that. 
Yeah. Well, because when you put them next to each other, the Hulk looks like how he looks in the movies, which is amazing, like a oh, real yeah. guy. Yeah. And then, like, they stand next to each other, and you're like, she's from a video game. You are a real human being. Like, it just looks weird. Like, I'm kind of, when I, immediately when I saw that actual Hulk was in She-Hulk, Yeah. I was like, they're going to do the Hawkeye thing again. Oh, my God, they are. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think about that. <laughs> oh, my sorry, God. Dude, sorry, dude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're going to do. They're gonna undermine. Look, guys, it's New Hulk, and it's... it's well, uh, it is her show. It, I mean... It's called She-Hulk, at least. It's, yeah, it's not yeah, I know, Hawkeye. But, but she's going to take up the mantle as Hulk, and here's yeah. another legacy character out the... Hulk didn't get enough justice anyways. Yeah, I know, yeah. poor guy. We only got to see him. Did you know that? We've only seen him transform one time. It was in the first Avengers. After that, you never no ever see him way. transform ever again, and that's like one of the coolest parts about him is like seeing him get angry. How do you not do? You saw him de transform a bunch of times, but that's it. Like yeah. he's slightly green, and he's like, Ugh. and he falls asleep, but like oh, nothing. Over. Yeah, and Thor Ragnarok they didn't show him. No, he jumps out of the thing, and there's I guess the that funny was for moment, like the dramatic effect. And then they cut yeah. away, and he's like, Ugh. so I don't yeah. Know. Yeah, that's a character I wish got more love because he's a very deep and there's like all the all of his character development happened happened off screen in the end game. They're like, he was like, yeah, I put the brains and brawn together. And you're like, dude, that's one of the most interesting things I could have seen from this character. And they just threw it away in one line of him finding himself. I would have stayed an extra 30 minutes for that. I would have watched a whole movie about him trying to like, yeah. you know, side with the Hulk and be like, come on, man. Like, we're not enemies. Like, we are one in the same and. Yeah, Anyways. that movie was. They had to do so much that I'm. I'm sympathetic with them on Endgame because there was so much. There to was do. a lot. There was no, so there was much. To do. They had to wrap up the whole MCU at the and, time. And I mean, let's be it's real. Kind of where it Captain, truly ended. Captain America and Iron Man were probably more imp- more loved. important than yeah. The, yeah. So they had the to close whole, that storyline. Yeah. yeah. Endgame is where the MCU really ended. Hot take. Uh, I agree with you. But well, I mean, we yeah, we a agree, different story for time. We've this all, is like a completely different MCU, in my opinion. Yeah. Which well, I think is their goal. They're yeah. I was gonna say. I think they're trying to. It's almost like they're starting over again for like this new generation of fans, and that's who will jump on board. And us, uh, the, like the original fans, I guess, which is weird to say, people that like us that have been watching forever. You have the other stuff to watch if you don't enjoy this. Go back. Quick, uh, quick way to end the pod, honestly, in my opinion. Um, I want to talk about how they're not setting up. They're not really doing much with setting up uh, a big bad. For this phase. Not yet, at least. They're not really trying too hard. Mr. Feige has it planned out till 2032, so I hope, you know, there's something in there. Which, that to me is just like, you're too far ahead at that point. That's way too much time, dude. They, so what, that's the amount 10 of, years. Think about it. The amount of, for the amount of content we are getting right now. Think about how much is written in that 10 years. They haven't. What, like 11 projects yeah, each year? They haven't thought to at least give us what's going on with Kang. Like, I thought Kang, yeah, was going to slowly... I thought we were going to get an update be with like, boop, boop, multiverse, boop, boop. you know? Yeah, I thought he was going to somehow be spliced in there. Cause so, quickly explain, what's the big bet? You know like, how... You know how they built on Thanos. Yeah. At the end yeah. of the first Avengers, you're like, oh my God, that's Thanos. And every... And you knew about it. And every film after that had built some sort of nod. Towards you know? it. Uh, it's like, hey I guys, see. by the way, Thanos is coming. Eventually. Like at least like, at the end of each Avengers movie, they were like, "Don't forget about this guy; he's coming." And yeah, I mean, I don't even know set up plot points. I don't even know if they know what exactly the big bad, the big bad villain is going to be. Obviously, we think King. I know he's, but I know he was casted to be an Ant Man, which doesn't come out till next year. Yeah, we don't. We have until oh, yeah. February for Ant Man. That, like, that might get pushed back. You never know. Yeah, Loki season two is supposed to be filming right now. So, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be real interesting to see. I feel like Loki is my favorite. The out show? Of, yeah, out of anything so far from no, the I, MCU. I love that show like stands the test of time, I would say. Just those six hours into that's what people want is like those deep dives into the yeah. character and you got yeah, to that see was, that was solid. and he reconciles and you get cool little moments of like, Whoa, there's old Loki and like cool references. It's just very solid. Yeah. Same anyways, with WandaVision and all that. But anyways, yeah. It's our final little Marvel rant. I exactly, know. Sorry, yeah. guys. As soon as I come we, back on the we pod, we are the it's Marvel podcast. Marvel. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. We are Marvel. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> That's JK. Yeah, shout out to Disney. We just, we just review all Disney's content, don't we? We do. Should we start reviewing their yeah, National Geographic like, stuff next week? Yeah, let's we'll move owned. on to the network. That's owned, by, yeah, it's owned by them, dude. Yeah, well, it's owned by Nat Fox. Geo yeah. is, Nat Geo is on Disney Plus. Yeah, it is. Shit, we need to. What could we review that's not on Disney? <laughs> Stranger Things. Stranger but Will Things. Hasn't but Will hasn't that, watched yeah. it. Come back next week, Will. 
and we'll talk That's about Stranger Things. That's a lot of content to watch in one week. You know what? It's not that hard because it's good. You get sucked in. Oh, wait, in. wait. All of Stranger Things? Yeah, it is. That's a lot. Never mind. You need to take a month for that <laughs> yeah, at least, mind, you know? Bro. You're good. No, do it next week. That's I your homework. I think if you start now... <laughs> If you start now, you could be caught up by the time Phase 2 rolls out. Yeah, it comes out in like three weeks. It comes out at the beginning of July. Oh, so you're set. You two, two and a half weeks. weeks. You're yeah. set, dude. Yeah, you'll make If it. you start now, start tonight. I mean, I'd like to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's That sounds like you got to stop touching grass for yeah, a while bro. and just watch Stranger Become Things. Become an iPad baby. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> yeah, bro. Sit down with your nephew and just Coco Melon. But you're going to be watching Stranger, <laughs> Stranger Things. Th- yeah. I mean, I don't get to see him like once every two weeks. So. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. We're going to end it off we're, here, we're, guys. We're wrapping it up. We're wrapping we're up the pod. Another, yeah, great Thanks episode. for joining us for another week, guys. Yep. It's been a blast. Yeah. Thanks for, thank you for coming on again, Will. Exactly. Thanks yeah. Thanks. Anytime. Yeah. It's awesome. Just, you know, kind of another guy kind of listening to a podcast. Sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. Taking Being, a seat in the conversation. Yeah. It's, it's every man's dream to just listen to a podcast and then say something and they respond back. To exactly. You. you know, shout out a minority group, you know, at the yeah. beginning. <laughs> yeah. So. I feel kind of bad because I feel like I, I had no idea we we're going to do that. So I fumbled I, that. Trust me. Do you, you know, guys want to recon- do you guys want to reconcile? No, you're putting me on the spot again. I can't reconcile right yeah, now. I'll I do wasn't one. prepared. I'll do okay, for let's it. hear it. Let's um, hear it. Shout out. So minority group, like, is this, do they work in any area? Any, well, it, they anything. don't even have to work. It can be an occupation. It could be some sort of, you know, some, like an interest group. Whatever. Interest group. So like say um shout out to the Taiwanese cosplayers in Dude, you get so specific. The, I know like, it's crazy. Yeah, South I'm like, e- South duh. in southeastern Milwaukee. No, shout no, out to Shout you guys. out to the Lebanese um actors and actresses that are trying to find their way in Hollywood. I'm sure you'll get there if you haven't gotten there already. Hey, that was a good one, yeah, dude. Thanks. I like thanks, that. Guys. I think Lebanon is like a cool place. Never been there, but I would love to visit there. That's best awesome. you researched it. No, I just know their economy sucks. <laughs> Okay. So, I mean, hopefully they can get back on track. Yeah. Shout out to you. I hope you guys find some Shout work. out. I hope you guys find they had a big work. explosion there. Remember oh. two years ago? They like the whole... Yeah. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, yeah. So they're still... Yeah. Adam. But yeah, shout out to all the Lebanese out there. Specifically the actors and... Actresses, yes. What was it? North North Hollywood? Uh, just in, in Hollywood in general. Just in, uh, yeah. Uh, Western Studio City. Shout out to you guys pulling your weight down there. Um, yeah. I guess I will... Um, you feel left out now. You got to join. I do. I do feel left out. Shout out to, um, dang it, I had one that was like pretty specific too. Yeah, that's how I feel (laughs) in my head, dude. Um, I would say shout out, this is kind of general, sorry, but it's something that I think is going to be an issue, unfortunately, but shout out, um, and I hope that you guys get help soon. People that are struggling with the food shortage at all right now, that seems to be in our near future. Um, Where specifically? Yeah. I'm going to say, like, maybe Eastern China. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If there's a food shortage or anything. I know Sri, La- started Sh- Sri Lanka is really going through right now. Really? No, I mean, yeah, they have... Sri Lanka as well, then, because it's starting with Sriracha small here, but we'll see how that impacts our future. Yeah, all these th- third world countries that can't afford... The supply to, chain yeah. and all that fun stuff. So. I'd, I'd like to say a huge shout out to anyone of uh, Celtic descent that is no longer living in the eastern coast of the United States. Uh, if you guys have branched out right now, um, you guys are really, uh, you guys are really doing something to move the culture. Celtic. <laughs> Celtic. That's funny. That Celtic. was good. Celtic. Uh, specifically, anyone uh, who has uh, moved into the northern Phoenix area. <laughs> if you, the like, dry, hot <laughs> desert. If yeah. You're of Celtic descent in the northern Phoenix uh, area. Shout out to you. I'd guys. be Shout surprised because I mean they're very. They're very pale people, you know? They would burn up in Phoenix. I know. Yeah. They would. I feel like they like cold They'd be weather. red. Yeah, they don't, they, don't, they don't tan. They just burn right away. I feel like I just want to keep doing these now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to start the pod with, with these now. Shout out to the uh, southern Japanese tech workers that bring us the, the brink of innovation over there, you know? Thanks. In southern Japanese? Yeah. Nice. Southern Japan. Southern Japan? Yeah. You have like a... Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. We're gonna wrap up the podcast. Yes. Actually, wrapping it up we're, now. We're actually gonna wrap up. The All right. Uh, peace Thanks out, again. guys. Thank Have you for listening week. to the Buy Double stickers, Overhead Show. Like if everything. you're from Northeast Bolivia, <laughs> keep listening. Thank you.
<laughs> Have a great week, guys. Thank you. Thank you to our Northeastern Bolivian fan base. And <laughs> peace out. In Germany.